looking how you pose when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in your car. Let me see who you are. Who you really are. Yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry. Cause if you're gonna leave me, then just do it. Don't take it slow, don't be gentle. No, I just gotta know if you're gonna leave me, then just do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you guys, I am done getting my nails done. I just did a manicure. I'm trying to grow my real nails out. I took the acrylics off and I just did a no chip gel. I ended up doing the color 545, I think it was. Really pretty, like it's it was called peachy orange. So I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna go meet my friend and go have dinner at Applebee's. That's the color. I don't know if the sun's doing it any justice, but peachy orange, super pretty. I wanted to get one last summer color before summer ends. You guys, I'm being a big girl and I'm walking into Applebee's by myself to get the tea. You guys know, like two months ago, I would have never did that. Yeah, that one looks pretty. Yeah, that one does look nice. Hey guys, it is now the next day. Uh, I just got home from work and waiting on the boys to get dropped off if they want their dad uh, after they get off the school bus. So I'm home. I just literally walked in the door. It's Friday. I have a four day weekend, which I'm really, really excited for. I'm gonna try to get a lot of things done around the house. I'm gonna finish filming my part two of my fall decorate and I'm probably going to decorate my porch to film that video so that all my fall decorated videos can be done and posted within the next few days. I also got my pool taken down. We will not be reusing it next year unfortunately because I kind of broke it when I tore it down like I actually ripped the piece so I actually recycled the pool and got rid of it I kept the pump but next year we may or may not get another pool I don't know the boys honestly only went in the pool like five times the whole summer more than five times but I think like the first two weeks that I had the pull up they were in it like all the time and then they stopped going in it the last time they went in the pool was in July when I was in South Dakota my mom got them to go in the pool and she said they went in for like a half an hour and then they were like over it <laughs> and they have not been in it since and it is now September 1st so I took the pool down early last week and I finally just got it recycled and gone and it is what it is on the pool aspect again I only paid like 60 bucks for the pool so it lasted all summer you guys know last year I had a pool and it did not last and it ended up like I came home it was leaking everywhere but this pool lasted and made it through the whole summer so that's a win hey Lucy girl I hear ya so it's quiet you hear that it's quiet no kids it's just me and Lucy Lou I have just so much that I want to do over the next couple of days of being off. You know, it's different when you're working. It's hard to get things done as far as what you want to because work and then just like the during the week routine is so different. I do want to film a nighttime routine of like kind of how things go working and like school nights and all of that. So stay tuned. You guys see my all the stuff that I have going on there. That's all my fall stuff. I'm gonna get that all decorated. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. It's just not gonna happen today just because I'm too tired. I thought that was boys out there. But all of that is over there. I got new throw pillows, uh, new throw blanket, tons of new little pieces of decor. I'm really excited to get 
it decorated. I kind of set some things out to kind of play around with it. I'll show you guys. Like I have that set up. I just wanted to see if that's how I would like it. So that's a little sneak peek. I do like it, but stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming up probably after I post this video. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. I'm gonna make some barbecue ribs for dinner along with like some veggies and sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna probably actually throw that in the oven, get the ribs going and get those baked. And I'm gonna make some homemade barbecue sauce and all of that good jazz, hopefully. I don't know if I have enough ketchup. Crap, I might not, so we'll see. I really don't think I have enough ketchup to make barbecue. I didn't think this through. Oh, I always do that. I don't have the things I need to make things properly, but it is what it is. We'll figure it out, make the, make dinner. I do want to work out. It's a new month, new goals. I really want to kind of do some crunch time on my whole fitness and work it out, get back on a routine. It's just back to school and my mom being here during the week just really has like messed up my routine of kind of like what I do when I come home from work. So I really want to just get back on it because I need to conquer goals that I have for myself and like my whole fitness, losing weight, all of that stuff. But I'm gonna take a moment to sit here and soak in the quiet before the storm because as soon as the boys get home, it's gonna just be loud and chaotic until bedtime. So you guys, I'm gonna make me an iced coffee because I have not had one in a while. So I'm gonna make me one. I um, I tried these. They're the French vanilla latte McDonald's ones. I liked it, but it was a little too sweet for me just because you guys know I cut out sugar. So I've been doing like sugar free for a couple months now. In the past, I probably would have loved it. Now I don't, but I'm gonna drink them. Just not drinking it right now. But I really do love and enjoy these Green Mountain ones, the vanilla carbo. And I've been, when I do that, I add in a little bit of my skinny syrup, the vanilla flavor. I was in Marshall's yesterday, you guys know, when I was in there after I, before I was getting my nails done, and I was looking for other flavors of these. They didn't have any, that's where I got this from, and it was only four bucks. And I've, this thing's lasted me. I've had this for like the whole summer. I wanted to add some of the syrup in before I start it. I like to put it at the bottom just a little bit before I make it. I um I tried this maybe like a couple weeks ago. I bought it when I went grocery shopping. It's that wide abate, wide, oh my gosh, wide awake coffee company. It was the vanilla caramel. It is non dairy coffee creamer. So I tried it. Um, it's okay. It's not a favorite. Will I buy it again? Probably not. I'll stick to my regular um, dairy free. I think I, I really love my oat milk creamer. That's probably what I'll go back to. But it was on sale. I wanted to try it, but it's all right. It's, I have about this much left since my mom's been here. It's been helping me go through it faster. Otherwise, honestly, it probably would be like still up here just because I don't really care for it. But I'm gonna put it in with my coffee just because I like to add cream to my coffee. But I will definitely be going back to my oat milk creamer. You guys know I love that creamer and it's been my favorite like dairy-free creamer that I've used.
Up again. That's good. Of course, you guys know I had to make it in my Dunkin' Cup. swan's truck i love their popeyes i have been wanting to order from the swan truck for a while but i never caught them but tuesday they were in the neighborhood because my neighbor across the street actually always orders from them and my mom caught him so he gave her my number gave him gave her my, his number to uh text when i wanted and i told him hey come back because he said he was going to be in the area until 6 30 so i texted him like hey i'm home i definitely would love to order some stuff the kids, we got uh, fudge pops. They literally ate those. That was Tuesday, today's Friday. By last night, they were like gone. <laughs> they loved them, so I'm gonna definitely get some more. But I love their turkey pot pies. They have turkey, chicken, and beef. I did the turkey. So this is just gonna be my dinner. Doesn't it, doesn't it look so cute? So good. And I think this was like $13 for four, which I know it's probably a little pricey, but if you get like those Marie Calendar ones, you're probably paying like the same price. I love Swan Man food. They're, I also got um, big old bags of frozen corn and then a big old bag of frozen peas. I've been kind of leaning more towards frozen vegetables instead of the can. It just tastes better to me. I don't know, it tastes more fresh and I know like canned vegetables, whatever they put in there, there's always a freaking fly. Like, why have the flies not died yet? But anyways, I feel like the canned veggies, whatever they put in there to keep the life, just the taste. I just don't like it anymore. I've been leaning more towards frozen. I don't buy fresh because you guys know me and fresh produce just do not. We don't have a good relationship. But frozen just tastes more fresher to me and I really like it. So I got a big old bag of like frozen peas and corn from the swan truck. It was a bag like this big and they were like eight bucks each so i thought that was a great deal it'll last us for a while because they're big super big bags and i heard something because i think the boys are home you guys Super zoomed in, babe. What? I got blue teeth. The blue the teeth. He lost another tooth. You want to show him? Which one was it? Uh, this one right there. Oops, I'm not even on it. He lost another tooth. We got to go to the dentist, though, because he needs to get a tooth cleaning. You want a milkshake? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, there's no way you could be hungry. So my peace and quiet went... Went quick, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw my um, Popeye in the microwave. I think <laughs> six minutes. We're just gonna put on six. What? And make them a milkshake really quick. That means it's not working. The, the earth. What's not working? The internet. Yeah, the internet goes off. <laughs>
It smells so good. Yes, I'm using a spoon because my all my forks are dirty. I got them in the dishwasher right now. And the kids decided they didn't want ice cream, so we actually want a pancake. So I just threw uh, the microwave pancakes in the microwave for him once my pot pie was done. Mmm, so good that I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and unbox as well. It's a mopping vacuum with a reusable pad and water tank. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. My other vacuum, I actually received from them like a year ago. I've had it for over a year and it broke, but it wasn't the vacuum, it was me. I dropped it and the little reservoir area where this part, the lid, I dropped it and it broke so it wouldn't stay shut in all of the Dirt and everything was falling out. So I'm gonna eat my Popeye and we'll get this bad boy on box. I can't wait to try it out and see see how good it is. And guys, can we take a minute to appreciate the quality of the chicken? Look at that. Mm. This is so good. Like the chicken is very good. Like big old chicken chunks. Yum. Hmm. I saw you put a, you are you tired? I'm tired? Yeah, you're tired. You put your egg. Put what in? You put your egg, you're tired. You put the egg, you fill, you put the egg in your milk. Are you putting it in? You rainbow, are you put the egg in cookies? Tank. Are you put the egg in your corn Are you put the egg in Okay, oh you're silly. What are you talking about? Goofy child. Goofy child. Oh, you guys. I got a mirror and it came shattered. UPS destroyed my mirror. So that has to get sent back. Not happy. Boys just threw their socks and shoes out. So we'll pick that up. The house is actually... Pretty clean. I actually cleaned my kitchen before I went to work this morning. These are some empty boxes um, from laundry soap and stuff I had delivered, so I need to take that out to the trash. But other than that, the house is really clean. I cleaned the kitchen before I left for work. That just has basic. This is what our dining room looks like during the week. It's like a catch-all for school stuff, mail, all of that good stuff, so I need to clear that off. But other than that, we're clean. The kids are in here kind of chilling, doing their own thing now. I have taken the iPads away during the week, but on the weekends, I told them they can actually use it. We need to put this fan on. It's a little stuffy in here. You guys chilling? Yeah. Yeah. Eating your pancakes? Okay. Hey, Lake, you have a good day at school? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my pot pie, because it is fire. Open this. Lake and got his book right there. Hey, you see, little girl, you sleeping. She, you guys, she literally stays in the kitchen and like watches everything that I do. Oh, I'm excited to use this. look at this box and think like there's no way all this is fitting in there but it comes in all of these pieces screw this up too and I like how there's the charger piece there so you can just plug it right in so I think I'm gonna actually screw this on the wall but I'm gonna have to find a different spot because where I used to keep 
my um, vacuum was over here, but I have my clock right there and I don't really want this like mounted on the wall there. So I'll probably have to find somewhere else for it to go. The bristles. Here's the, ooh, the attachment pad, the little mop pad. Oh, that's cool. And the water just goes right in here. You add it in right there. How freaking cool is that? And then it just attaches on some way. I might have to look at the directions and see where we attach this at. Goes on here some way or another. you turn it on and off the mommy's new vacuum so it's touchscreen you guys this is how much battery life you got 57 percent that's the medium and that's full high but we all know um high will drain your battery faster i love that that's touchscreen it does have the sticker take that off Ooh. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that the filter, the dirt, what is this? The dirt can can canister is right here instead of in the back. Oh, isn't she pretty? I'm telling you, it looks like a <laughs> like I'm holding a, a Nerf gun or something. I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to look at the directions to see how we attach the mop piece oh it does just sit right on there so keep the tank install in the directions of the arrow cool we're gonna try that feature out too because i do need to vacuum my floor oh i'm so excited i've been without a vacuum for literally over a month now the real test is gonna be
I love the way that the brush moves. It's all in there. And that's just on the low. The real test is gonna be this. You guys, it got all of the cat litter out of there. Yo, yes. Literally, I mean, I couldn't reach over there, but. Are you coming to make a more mess? She's looking like, oh, what is that? Look, look. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, this is why I needed a vacuum, because I got these mats, which like help, but you know, still, cat litter kind of tracks a little bit. I just got all of it up and it is all in there. Just look how much dirt it just sucked up in just that little area that I did. Look at that. It did pretty good on the low setting. I did put it up too high. When I put it on high suction, it got all of it easy peasy. see how good I got all the litter out of there I got a little rest of this that I want to get up see there so vacuum that up really quick So far, so good, Lucy, huh? Until you make another mess, but it's kitty approved. Say kitty approved, give me five. Kitty approved, kitty approved. She's like, I'm over your crap, girl. That's everything, you guys, that it sucked up. It did a really, really good job. I plugged it in, you can see it charging here, and I like how it tells you the percentage that it's at. And it plugs right in easily. You can just plug it right into the back of this. I just have it resting there. Super sleek, lightweight, did an amazing job. It looks very modern, kitty approved. You can see I need to vacuum up there too, but I'm gonna charge it a little bit. And I love the thick bristle brushes love it because it spins and it really like sucks up everything in there what are you doing yes i need to like mop really good right there too that's from dinner is it lucy approved lucy approved another cool thing that i like about this is 
I can take this brush out to uh, clean it very easily. You just push in there and it pops up and you just pull it right out, you guys. So if you get hair and stuff, this makes this easy to come out so you can clean it and cut out the hair so that way it sucks up better. Then it makes it very easy for you to clean the inside of this. We all know, like just look at that, just from the little vacuum that this can get built up pretty easily and kind of block the passage. So I really love that this makes it super easy to take apart to clean and then you just literally pop it back in and then voila. I'm gonna add uh, water in this so after I vacuum I can go ahead and mop the floor as well. Super easy to put in. You just open it there, insert your water. I have, you know, my Dying True Fabuloso, so I'm going to add a little Fabuloso into mine. water and my fabuloso added in there and it makes it super easy you guys to snap on you just there's these two little hole four holes there and you snap it into this so you just snap it and it's it's on so that way when it's sucking up I can mop that that's awesome I've never seen vacuum like this super cool when you're done, it just pops right off. Super easy, super simple. This is removable, so you can wash this. It easily comes out like that. And then it sticks on. Super easy. Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me, something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in your car. Let me see who you are, who you really are. are yeah, don't need you here to say you're sorry. Look at that, you guys. The floor is all nice and clean. I love that it's two in one. I love that the mop pad is detachable so you could easily switch from hardwood to your regular carpet. A lot of like two in one mop vacuums, they don't have that option. So I do love that you can just easily take this off. The floor, literally, I'm gonna walk on it. Parts of it is already drying. So it dries really fast. I don't know if you can really tell on camera because it all looks shiny but the floor is like already like half dry and it looks really good i will have the link down below for you guys so if you click the link that you see here popping up on the screen look down in the description box and i will also have a link to the website for you guys Thank you again to ProSynic for sending the vacuum 
cleaner. It's definitely kitty approved, mom approved, and I absolutely love it. So I ended up putting the vacuum in my laundry room. It fit perfect in here. I just mounted it up on the wall because there was a plug over here. And that way the vacuum's not out. And this is easy for me to just pull out. And then put it back in to charge. So it is charging and it's out of the view. But I'm probably gonna move my wash dry thing around. Well, it is what it is, but if it's perfect here. And then I just put that, set it over there in the corner. You guys, it is now like 9.30. I am really tired. Me and the kids have been, sorry. Me and the kids have just been chilling, watching TV and that. They got like 20 more minutes and then it's bedtime. I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here because we're not doing much else. I did not end up doing too much of anything else besides vacuuming and mopping the kitchen floor, um, which I really love the vacuum. It's amazing, got that all hung up. My kitchen's clean, so I don't have to clean my kitchen. I mean, there's like three dishes in there, so my kitchen's all ready and good to go for the morning so we can get up and make breakfast in the morning for the kids. Even though I don't have sausage, oh, Tink's gonna be disappointed. But I hope you guys enjoyed kind of hanging out, spending a little uh, pampering time with me, and then just chilling around the house. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe, say hello if it is your first time. And until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.